Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Nightstorm here. Welcome back to Revive the Witch. So, they released a new update today, new banner. So, Isabel's banner has now left and now we're greeted with the latest uh, latest edition, Rafan or Rafan, uh, Claw of Destiny, a saltstone element destroyer. So, first things first, I like how the doing the backgrounds as of late they give you like a new background for each new um release you know giving them like a new flair you know new unique feel to them but in any case let's take a look at her skills so as expected with destroyer characters they have lots of hp and attack and decent defensive stats so keep in mind when we're reviewing these characters their skills are maxed out at level 5 skills level 5 active skills and level 2 passive. So her first skill is called Spear of Oath. It costs 3 order to use and at level 5 she will deal physical damage equal to 400% of her own attack to all enemies. When using this skill in the wolf spirit state, which we'll go to in a bit, Rafan has a 50% chance to inflict rip off on the targets. And rip off is, that, is a debuff where the target takes 20% more damage dealt by Spear of Oath for 10 seconds, which is this skill, stacking up to 3 times. Her second skill is called Hamel's Bloodline, it costs 4 chaos to use, and awakens the Forbidden Bloodline and enters the Wolf Spirit state, increases attack by 30% and heals herself for 15% of damage dealt. When using this skill in the Wolf Spirit state, Rafan deals physical damage equal to 500% of attack to all enemies and generates a shield for 10 seconds that absorbs damage equal to 300% of attack. So what this means is uh, the first time you use this you will transform and then the second time onwards that you use this skill you will be dealing the physical damage to all enemies as well as generating a shield. And now her passive wolf spirits protection and at level 2 when Rafan takes lethal damage she is granted with immunity to all damage and heals herself for all of her max health for 5 seconds. Wait, heals herself for 5 seconds? So I'm assuming she's going to heal herself to max health per second for 5 seconds, which is pretty, which is pretty strong uh, and can be triggered once per combat. So as expected, um... They went with the, I guess, you could say PvP route with uh, Rafan. Main reason for that being uh, the lethal damage thing. Um, for the most part, at least for the current content, uh, there isn't really um, a need for surviving lethal damage because normally when it's at that point, you're either using someone as a sacrifice for extra DPS or your team isn't um, tanky enough to handle the content. Now this does help a little bit you know to help cheese some certain stages but for the most part I would say this is more PvP focused. Now let's uh, analyze her skills more. So what you want to do normally is you transform right away and then the second skill will now become stronger. Now, I know it only has a 50-50 chance to inflict the ripoff, but assuming we get to 3 stacks, the target would now take 60% more damage dealt by this skill, meaning 60% increase of 400% would be around uh, 600 and 40%. Uh, around 640% physical uh, of around 640 percent of attack around around that level of uh damage to all enemies which is you know pretty strong aoe wise and then for her second skill you know we've already talked about that is 500 percent of attack to all enemies and generates a shield so all in all she becomes like a pretty self tanky uh character um well needed for frontline characters um, outside of that, you know, she has self-sustain from the passive 
and from the barrier for damage mitigation and then for dps um, she's able to increase the enemy's damage taken by her own skills so you could see as her being a self sustaining self you could say just selfish in in a sense in terms of like how she performs as in she's able to perform on her own so that's my uh, first impression of her. I think she's more so a PvP unit in terms of PvE content. Um, in my opinion, there are better alternatives if you're looking for damage. Um, if you're looking for survivability, uh, you might be better off with a Guardian that you already own in terms of surviving at the front line. Now let's see if her unique equipment um, changes things. All right, so we go to rules and then rate up. When dealing damage, ignores the target's physical defense equal to 22% of self's attack. Oh, there we go. So, okay, so now you could say that it does change things. Now, the reason for that is because ignore defense is very big um, in terms of increasing one's damage output. Now, unfortunately, it is locked into her unique equipment. Therefore, if you are going for Rafan, then again, I would have to, you know, recommend going for the unique equipment as well. But yeah, uh, that's about it. So for a, you know, an overall opinion on Rafan, I think she's a good character, but I would say she would be mostly used on PvP. Um, I guess you could say potentially replace Ella now the only reason why I say potentially is because Rafan would definitely have an, uh, probably have higher damage output but she doesn't dispel buffs which could be you know which could be a deal breaker when it comes to certain matchups in PvP but if you defeat the enemies before they could do anything then you know Rafan does that just fine but yeah, if you guys got any more questions regarding Rafan, do let me know down in the comments uh, down below. Let's end this off with a YOLO multi. So let's see what we get here. Uh, SSR, you know, it, it is what it is, guys. Oh, we don't get a refund because I think because of the uh, other banner that I already did the uh, discount on. Well, in any case, um, that is my review for Rafan. Um, I would say probably you can skip her, but if you want her for the design and stuff like that, you know, kudos to you. Go for it. You know, I wish you luck. But for those that are, you know, interest or that are more interested in performance, um, she would be mostly used for PvP as I've mentioned earlier. Um, PvE wise, uh, she would do fine on like story progression and stuff like that. But when it comes to um, Path Not Taken and um, the Evil Return stages, like the bosses, um, you're better off by using another character DPS wise. Well, that's about it for this video. Hopefully, it didn't take too long. It's been your boy Nigel Storm. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace.